fellow Helldivers, it's Sergeant Major Grimm, four-time recipient of the Shield of Liberty and the 47-time recipient of the Ribbon of Sacrifice, broadcasting to you from the secured deck of the battlecruiser The Stars and Bars, somewhere in orbit in an undisclosed location. By now, many of you have heard the rumors about our losses on the automaton front. And I'm here to tell you, they are just that. Rumor. Unfounded, unsubstantiated, and exaggerated. More than likely the result of automaton propaganda spread by traitors and sympathizers who will be hunted down and delivered to the sweet embrace of liberty's justice. While it is true that a great many laid down their lives to hold back the iron tide, what little that could be called gains on their part are ill-gotten. And we shall recover this pittance of dirt with little effort. No, my fellow hell divers, this battle is far from lost, far from over. We shall have our oil, and we will paint the scars of Malevolon Creek black to honor those glorious few, those valiant few who stood their ground so that our great hell divers across the galaxy could face down the insectoid threat with but victory after victory. <sighs> to honor those great defenders of democracy, I personally have commissioned by requisition through the proper authority and bestowed by the democratic government of Super Earth and at my own expense a special order of ammunition to be distributed throughout the various fronts of the galaxy, so that every one hundredth round shall be emblazoned and engraved with the names of the fallen, so that the enemies of Super Earth shall know that even now those great heroes fight for liberty. Now I know, my fellow divers, things can seem bleak. Your eyes will water, your lungs will burn. There will be times when your legs will want to give, and your arms will tremble. Your very muscles will seem to be betraying you, as if your body itself wants to give up on democracy. Dare I say it, that even I, Sergeant Major Grimm, four-time recipient of the Shield of Liberty and the recipient of over 53 ribbons of sacrifice, that I too have suffered symptoms of early onset treason. But my fellow hell divers, step back from that abyss for there is no return, and there is no reward in its dark depths. No, instead, look ahead to a fixed position on the horizon, and there, far in the distance, you'll find a single shaft of luminous light, a beacon, a paragon of perfection, calling you home calling you back to liberty, back to democracy. You know, it reminds me of a story of the day my first child was born. The doctor turned to me and said, Mr. Grimm, I present to you your pre-approved, requisitioned, and standard issue, son and or daughter. Today is the most proud day in any man's life. I stood 
and I promptly removed my standard issue uniform, neatly starched and pressed, and hung it in accordance to Regulation Alpha 110.1 of the Military Uniform Code of Uniform Conduct, also known as Mucka. And then I displayed to him my battle scars and said, No, sir, this is the 38th most proudest day in my life. I personally oversaw that traitorous doctor's execution. So remember, my fellow hell divers, when the shadow of democracy's enemies seem as though they'll overtake you. Never forget the power of liberty. Hold to it above all else, and it shall see you through the darkest of your days and the fires of your most difficult hell dives. This has been Sergeant Major Grimm, four-time recipient of the Shield of Liberty and the recipient of 44 Ribbons of Sacrifice, broadcasting to the battlefields of Super Earth. May you drop once, may you drop a thousand times. Thank <laughs> you.